My blood sugar is high, I feel like madness. Diabetes is a killer. You can't escape that reality. Stroke, heart disease, cancer. Several of the top 10 killers in this country are directly related to the disease of diabetes. Once somebody is diagnosed, the clock's ticking. Over time, that will take a toll on his inside organs, if not brought down with insulin. That child can go into a coma and unfortunately may never wake up. It hits you like a truck. All you can think is praying for mercy that God would spare her soul. I was told time after time after time, there is no such thing as a diabetic diet. The nurses brought one of her first meals and I was in shock at what they were gonna feed her. Why would we pump our kids full of food that challenges their body, their bodies that are already not able to make insulin? Why would we do that to them? It's only gonna send the blood sugar skyrocketing. Why is this not something I knew before? Like, I'm a dietitian. I went to school for this. Well, what does it hurt to try? Because anything has to be better than what we're doing right now. My wife and I had this agreement in the hospital. We're gonna get out of here and we're gonna change this and we're gonna do this this way. We thought for the first time <clears throat> that maybe it wasn't as hopeless as we thought. People say hurtful things like, your child will resent you for the rest of his life. Do you feel like you're robbing Zola of her childhood? When the doctor walked in, I began to describe our methods. There was an implied threat at the end of the appointment that if we didn't start feeding Jack more carbohydrates, then there could be some child protective services implications there. I fear that industry wants us buying their products. It's too hard. I hear that over and over again, and I think that's a tragedy. It's completely avoidable for people to spike and have high blood sugars. There is a better way, a safer way, if I have any power within these two hands to give her more time, I'm gonna do it. And I can't believe that just changing her diet could possibly give her a healthy, long life. I was diagnosed at age 12, and life expectancy for type one diabetic was 30 years. And I'm 86 right now.